Saving a youth from becoming a chronic offender results in $1.7 to $2.3 million in lifetime avoided costs to victims and taxpayers. So the stakes are high, but we know that incarceration of youths actually increases reoffending, particularly among low-risk youths as they are taken away from their family and thrown in with more deviant peers. Instead, in 2007, we worked with Texas lawmakers to change policy so that misdemeanant youths such as graffiti and, mis- and marijuana offenders are no longer sent to Texas youth commission institutions that cost $271 per day per youth to operate, but instead are placed in community-based alternatives where they can remain closer with their family while being reformed. Now we must look at what we can do to further strengthen juvenile probation as well as school and police diversion programs so that we reduce juvenile crime, restore victims, preserve and strengthen families, and give taxpayers a better return on their investment.